no matter how our world evolves, right, there are a few things that brings people together. Music, food. So how you all want to learn or not? <laughs> I am not that much of a cook. My family of the household, among all the cousins of those in my generation or lower, we were all taught to study, so they're all high flyers. Myself, I'm like, no, not a high flyer. <laughs> but I can cook. You know, growing up, right, you, you don't have one person cooking all the dishes, you know what I mean? It's always like, I, I remember like I, I have my grand aunties, one by one, they all come on one weekend and each one cook one dish. Growing up as a single mom household, I had to fend my, for myself, so I cook a lot as well. And uh, I think uh, while I was living in Australia, you miss home cooked food. Uh. <laughs> I will uh, season it a little bit and then I'll stuff it back in. But because once you stuff it back in, it's never fully stuffed, so we add extra. Call up my mom and say, oh, what do you put in this, what do you put in that? And I think that came, that was my foundation of cooking. Ta-da! As I said, I'm a tam tiak kui. I'm, you know, I'm a greedy pig. So I like to eat. I like to go to people's house to eat. And when I like the food, I would like just poke at auntie. Auntie, what you cook? Uh? What very nice, like, teach me. And I don't have any of the recipes. So it was, it was kind of like this innate mission to try to get them back. The next signature dish is called nasi ulam. So it's basically like, you know, a mix of different herbs and spices, raw. It's kind of like our later without the soup. It's kind of hard to find it anywhere else because it's tedious, la. you know, you got to do everything fresh and you got to mix it up and things like that. And there's about like 14 different ingredients in there. My private dining started picking up from Christmas onwards and then it started getting a lot of traction before the CB period. But when lockdown came in, all the private dinners have to cancel. During the lockdown, the orders actually like went skyrocket. So I had an average of like 21 orders. It kind of balanced it out as well because at that same time, my husband got retrenched. Start looking somewhere else, start tabbing into what exactly you want, start reflecting. I think it's also a real great time when out of a crisis, you can, you can reflect and emerge out of something else, right? Hi, good afternoon and welcome to the 13th episode of Peranakam Makan. Like there are certain adaptation that technology has helped. I see a lot of great things that came out of it as well, right? You know, community sharing, people helping each other. There is more of that human factor coming out that I witness rather than, oh, it's all about money, 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 money. Come to my house, no shy one. <laughs> it's my mother's word. Uh. Every time got guests come, right? It's like, you don't eat, you go back hungry, it's your own fault. Uh. <laughs> there, there's a, a sense of fear as well. In, in the way that as I keep going, when phase two kicked in, my business was literally zero. Because of that, now I'm at another stage where I need to think of how should I evolve again. Dude. Right. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Can you make the sambal yourself too? Mm. Oh my God. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you do need to be sustainable and that's what it is. And I have something that I hold, that I'm blessed with, that I can cook. I'm, I'm really, really still learning. I'm not the person who knows everything. Mm. So, if you have the, so if you have the one that is already dug out at the market that you buy, you will not have this flavour. Oh. Mm. Food must make you dance, right? You put your mouth and you're yeah, like, then you like, like oh. <laughs> The validation is when they are Peranakan or Eurasian and they go like, my grandmother gave you a thumbs up. And I'm like, wow, very honoured, very honoured. You know, I think getting approval from the older generation is a lot more important. Like even getting a validation from my grandmother is hard. I think my vision is to really bring the, the education and the knowledge of Peranakan food forward while at the same time I'm learning. Regardless of whatever you do in life, you, you know, whatever project, you, like how can I make it better? You know, it's, yeah, it's never the best, I, I, I personally feel. <laughs>